everyone happy holy tuesday we are almost easter father jorge we're getting closer and closer and closer to easter that's right a few more days let's go hey today is traditionally the day of chrism mass so all of us priests usually go to wichita bishop kemi does a couple things he blesses oils that we use for um i'll have father jorge explain that and then we renew our priestly promises and so today we want to share a little bit about the oils and about the priesthood so i'll let Father Jorge, go first. That I also have a surprise for you at the end of the video. Do you? I do. Oh yes, my. But okay. So. I'm excited. <laughs> okay. I'm going to talk to you about the oils that we receive that the bishop blesses on Holy Tuesday. And not just the bishop, but just think of this. It's so powerful. The bishop with all the priests from the diocese bless the oils. And then he distributes those oils to each parish in our diocese. So, and I have the oils that we receive during Holy Tuesday, okay? We have the oil of the sick. We use this oil to the anoint for the anointing of the sick, the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. So, we keep all these oils in our back sacristy. And then we have the oil of the catechumens. For those entering the church for the first time, when you bring a little baby to baptize, we anoint the, the little baby with this oil, with a cross on his or her chest. And then finally, the sacred chrism. This oil is my favorite. Mine too. <laughs> this is used for three sacraments. The first one is? Baptism. And the second? Confirmation. And the third? Holy, Holy orders. <laughs> Our hands, Father LeVen's hands and my hands were anointed with this oil. So for those little boys out there, if you're called to be a priest, Do maybe it. one day you will be anointed with the same oil and it smells really good. So it is a very special mass. I mean, we're not going to be able to be there with the bishop. We weren't there with the bishop, but he's going to send us the new oils for our parish. Do you know how Bishop Kemi blesses the sacred chrism, Father Jorge? What does he do with the sacred chrism? I don't recall. He my he takes the oil and he breathes into it. So he literally goes, just like the Holy Spirit being breathed into, um, into us. Yeah. Pretty cool. And that is pretty amazing. So now, Father Levens, can you talk to us about the priesthood? What do we yeah. do on Holy Tuesday when we go back to the diocese? So usually we'll go back and have the, at the mass, we will renew our promises. So when both of us got ordained, we got ordained together, same year, same class. We were, I was, L-A-B-E-N-Z, he was L-O-P-E-Z, so I was just in front of him. I was the last one in my <laughs> class, just so you know. <laughs> anyway, so we made a couple promises to the bishop, and we go back there and we renew those promises. So think of your parents. You know, if mom and dad, um, when they got married, they promised to love each other um, in good times and in bad sickness and health, and then, you know, each year in a way, they renew that promise to one another. Same thing with us. We go back to the bishop and we promise to be good holy priests. We promise to love God. We promise to pray every day. We promise to do our best. Um, so that's what we'll do it tomorrow in a special way. It also is a reminder of the joy of the priesthood. Uh, guys, I love being a priest. Father Jorge loves being a priest. It is such a gift. Um, but it's also a reminder to me of the priests who have been good to me, who have touched my life. I think of my priests growing up and just how much they meant to me. And so um, my challenge to you today, my encouragement to you is to pray for your priest. Pray for the priests who have touched your life. Pray for the priests who mean a lot to you. Pray for the priests who are here in our parish. Pray for me. Pray for Father Jorge. Pray for Father Jerome. We need those prayers. Yes. And one last thing. As we renew our vows, you can challenge your parents to think and to reflect and the vows they made the day of their marriage. So it's also a good opportunity during this Holy Week to remember those things, those promises. So that will be my challenge for you. Challenge your parents to remember on the vows of matrimony because matrimony is also a beautiful gift from God, a beautiful sacrament, Amen. okay? Hey, are you ready for the surprise? Yes. That I've literally got up my sleeve. Okay, so I went, I was um, out front of the school today and Mrs. O'Brien came up and said, Father LeBenz, the first graders didn't have all their questions answered, so she gave me your question bag, so I'm gonna ask Father Jorge one of the questions. Okay. <laughs> I get excited. I Here hope it's go. an easy one, okay? <laughs> oh, this is perfect for this, perfect. Okay, this question is from Russell. Russell in first grade. Father Jorge, how long have you been a priest? 
I've been ordained a priest for three years. The best, but also challenging years, but joyful years of my life. Three years this coming May. So we were ordained the same day, May 27th of 2017. So almost yes. three years. So. <laughs> All right, guys. There we go, Russell. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. All right. God bless. Bye. <laughs>